Happy Women's History Month. Yeah, do it women, let's do it. All right, um, oh my goodness, did you see this? Check it out, I got a haircut. Yeah, I got a haircut. My friend Erin Athey does my hair and she's so great at it and she loves curls which is more and more common, but, um, but it's been a really hard time finding somebody who actually enjoys doing my hair, and she does, and I love her. So links to her, of course, below. So first of all, I saw two plays. You know I like to go see my shows. The first one was Colony Collapse at the Boston Court Theater. The other play I saw is um, They Don't Talk Back, at, and this is part of Native Voices at the Autry. It's just, I just sit and watch and think, oh, it is so sad to me that I only get to see something like this once or twice a year. This was beautiful and unique and they incorporated movement, they incorporated masks. So if you're in Los Angeles, I think it's, it's a short run, it's just playing through the end of March, but then it's going to La Jolla and it's also going to be in Anchorage, Alaska, which is where the writer is from. So check it out, Native Voices at the Autry. All right, tonight I am going to my school, Cal State LA. I don't think I've talked to you about where I got my MFA. So I got my MFA at California State University, Los Angeles. It is the cheapest MFA in the entire country. So that makes it unique in and of itself. The other great thing is that Cal State LA is very, very diverse and inclusive environment, socioeconomically, racially and culturally, age-wise. It's, it's a wonderful campus. And tonight they're doing their MFA alumni awards. And so I'm going to that and I'm always down for supporting my school. So I'm excited to go to that. I just, I, I, I'm, so many people have talked about this already and I just want to kind of like leave it here for posterity and also to see if I change my mind around this later on because I think it's a good healthy thing to eat, grow and evolve. But it makes me really sad that Zoe Saldana was cast as Nina Simone. Now I know how this business works. I know it so well that I know that this is not entirely of Zoe Saldana's doing and that there was lots of pressure to do the role and also that she felt like she could do that role and that I never want to take away from another actor because I know what it feels like to have somebody not believe in you to be able to deliver on a performance but unfortunately they made the really bad decision to put blackface on her I mean, I'm like, look, if you're confident that you can play this role, don't put blackface, don't put on prosthetics, like let her, let Nina Simone's essence come out of you. But more importantly, Nina Simone fought against racism and colorism and shadism. That was a, an important part of who she was as a person and her activism. So to cast somebody who is, representative of the system that the lighter you are, the closer you are to white, the more attractive you are, the more acceptable you are, the more you can sell tickets. It just is wrong. Obviously, I don't know Nina Simone personally, but her family has spoken out against it. And um, it's just a really unfortunate situation. And um, it just felt like an insensitive response. I think for me, the one of the most heartbreaking things about racism is a lack of sensitivity and I mean Nina Simone herself couldn't have wouldn't have been cast or paid the amount of money that Zoe Saldana got paid like not even today it was just really unfortunate and I support Zoe Saldana in other roles and and the work she does and she's a great actor but this was a bad choice and a painful one and an insensitive one like let's all be more sensitive to each other I published uh, a Q&A session with my very good friend Tanya McRae this week on presidential mixedness. Uh, so check that out. It's under the One Drop of Love playlist here on this channel. I backed a Kickstarter project. Uh, check it out in the links. So this young woman, Nigella Mumin, I hope I'm saying her last name correctly, Nigella Mumin, and homegirl works. Like she's making her own opportunities and she's already raised lots of funds for the movie, but you can help out too. You, we talk about the problems, here's a solution. When a filmmaker is telling their own story, most importantly, she's telling 
her truth. <laughs> She's telling her story and not letting somebody else tell it for her. So please back her project called Jin, and there are links to that below. Or if you don't have the funds, then please share it and encourage your friends and family to support it. Okay, this was week two of my new job, head of equity and inclusion at Pearl Street Productions, and, uh, and this was a good week. So I had a, a good phone call with Matt and Ben and got approval on the things that I laid out that I wanna get done in this first year. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more because one of the things that I wanna do is make our commitment to equity and inclusion transparent to everybody. So one of the things I'm working on is giving us an online presence that is specifically about this commitment we're making. And so we'll have a place where people can go. It is not about being congratulated or rewarded for the work, but I wanna have, I want there to be a place where people can go and look at our numbers and look at our data and say, you're not doing very well in this area, or hey, this is great. I had a couple of uh, good phone calls with friends to initiate some other things that I wanna get done. And also I made a list of festivals and conferences that I wanna attend. So of course I'll, I'll vlog a little bit from those conferences and events. And I'm so excited about the job. I feel really good about it. And I feel like I'm going to get some good things done. All right, you all, this is another This Week as an Artivist. Thanks for watching. Share it if you like it. Subscribe to the channel or put, give a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, add comments if you want to. And you, you, <laughs> you keep doing your good work. Tell us if you need support. Tell us what you're up to. Yeah, kick butt. Go Women's History Month. If you're a woman, celebrate yourself, sister. If you're a man, celebrate a woman, big time. Let her know how important she is. Let her know that you support her. And don't just say it, do it. All right, you all, have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.